Sample Class is the only place for piano roll based music producers to learn composition, cover design in Photoshop, interpolation, how to make your DAW sound like an analog console, how to set up your Spotify store, and how to market your sample packs. Sample Class from chord to composition to cash. What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions. Thank you for tapping in. Um, I wanted to share with you guys something that um, I begin using. Like I was, like as I've started using my guitar more, I'm getting a, a better understanding of actually how to program um, VSTs to sound even more realistic. And it doesn't have to do with you know hitting a strum macro or stuff like that, right? So let's go into the DAW and take a look at what exactly I'm talking about here. All right, so what I have here is just a, is just a simple um, guitar melody. Let's listen. And it sounds cool, it sounds all right. Some people might even think that this sounds realistic. Um, but what, it, aside from guitar voicing, which is really, uh, it has a lot to do with just making sure that you're using at least four strings or four notes. You know, people don't play three strings on a guitar. Um, and then beyond that, it, you know, when you when you use a guitar, you're moving your hand up and down the fretboard and there is a, um, like pitch bends that come with sliding your fingers up and down the string, right? But those are, up until we've had MPE, um, capabilities inside of um our dolls like studio one implemented in in uh, studio one uh 5.3 being able to do it with vst threes right so i'm using the ample guitar plugin which has vst3 format and um, the reason why mpe is important because it allows us to single out a single note and just affect a pitch bend on that single note, similar to how it would sound on a guitar, right? Because if we, if I took this and I just did like a whole pitch bend, I'll show you on this chord, right? Say we did this. Like, what are we even doing? That, it doesn't sound like a guitar. Um, it's not it's it's not dope right so when we go and we look at when, when we go and we want to use the mpe we can actually do the individual note right so in order to activate mpe all you want to do is go um click the vst inside studio one click the drop down menu here and just make sure enable mpe is is uh clicked and then what's going to happen is you're going to see um, where you would normally see velocity and pitch bend, you're going to see this menu for note controller. Note controller is, you know, the control individual notes here, right? So if I go, if I go into note controller and I say that, hey, I click on pitch A2, right? Make sure it's A2 here. And then I say, I want to um, write an automation curve for the pitch. Boom, I'm doing it there. And now listen to what we get. That's it <laughs> right there. That's one of the main things that is missing from, um, you know, computer based VST based guitar music. Right. So just adding this little trick via, you know, via M uh, MPE and being able to control the individual notes um, is going to take your, you know, vst guitar experience to just a whole nother level so hope you guys took something away from this video let me know if you guys want to see more stuff on creating realistic guitars the cmp keep it simple don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one